gonna yeah brother Doug here with another comic book edition of my blog Spider-Man is going to be well the amazing Spider-Man is going to be ending its comic book run with the 700th issue and that's a big accomplishment because you know most comics only make it to the second issue so I'm not gonna name names but you know who you are if you read comics but I don't know why they're trying to end trying to pull what DC did Cause remember how Batman and Superman and action comics were past 700 they were like in their 800 800th or 850th run or something like that and then they started to reboot you know with the new 52 however the new 52 go hard I don't care what anybody says you know, I know a lot of comic book fans the hardcore DC fans are hating on it because you know they felt like DC messed up a whole uh, mythology a whole continuity run but me personally you know, for somebody who wasn't really heavy on DC like that, you know, I was vaguely into DC. You know, I was Batman, Teen Titans, uh, Static Shock, the whole nine. But with the New 52, it, it allows me to explore more of that continuity. So I'm, I applaud them for that, and I'm going to get to that in a minute with Nightwing. But I just want to talk about Spider-Man for a little bit. So I hear they're going to reboot Spider-Man for the Marvel Now uh, lineup that's going on. But uh, $10 says that's going to be Miles Morales because Miles Morales may be in the 616 universe. I'll talk about that later in this video. So uh, when I said DC and Marvel are competing, you know, it, in, in this industry, whether you're in the entertainment or you're in the merchandising industry, you're going to have competition. Like, you know, DC started that Earth 1 with Superman and now Batman Earth 1. And now Marvel's trying to do it with the season 1. I have it on my iPod. Uh, the Spider-Man season 1. And they have the X-Men season 1. The link's going to be at the bottom if you guys want to check them out on Amazon or Midtown Comics. Shout out to them. Okay, so when it comes to, when I talk about competition, when it comes to movies... Marvel is <laughs> whooping that ass when it comes to movies. When it comes to comics, eh, DC is giving you that old mama's belt whooping. You know, that pull your pants down kind of whooping. That's what DC is doing right now with the comics. And the main reason why uh, Marvel comics are, you know, downplaying right now, you know, the sales aren't doing so good because... Me, personally, I think it's because the heroes are fighting heroes. You know, every time I pick up a Marvel book, it's either Iron Man fighting Thor or Iron Man versus Cap because that's Civil War. It's either Cyclops versus Wolverine and that Shizm, the X-Men Shizm storyline. But And now, currently, the Avengers versus X-Men. Like, why are heroes fighting heroes? I give DC that because they're actually fighting villains. I mean, straight-up villains. So, that's just me. I still haven't heard any news, Marvel, about uh, Black Panther being in the Marvel Now uh, lineup. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Marvel. So now let's get on with the comic book reviews. First up is uh, Nightwing Zero. Make sure y'all go pick this up. So with Nightwing Zero, I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis. Basically, Dick Grayson was part of a circus act with his family. His family got murdered. Batman took him in, a.k.a. Bruce Wayne. Um, Robin went out. <laughs> Robin. Dick Grayson went out to uh, find out who killed his mother. So he's, you know, searching the streets, fighting crime, a la Spider-Man, or Batman per se, since this is a Batman comic. Batman, um, you know, doesn't trip because he sees that uh, Dick Grayson is kicking ass. So he's like, oh, okay, let me take him under my wing. However, Dick Grayson knew the whole time that it was Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is Batman. So uh, he uses spare parts out of Batman's suits to make the Robin suit. And, you know, on this issue, he doesn't really become Nightwing yet. He's still Robin, but it's just an origin story. And for me, I, I thought it was well done. You know, good job to Kyle Higgins and Tom DeFalco. And the art was amazing. Make sure y'all go get this book. I give it a... Four out of five. Just because, you know, people, when they bought a Nightwing book, they expected to see, you know, straight up Nightwing, you know. Robin's cool because, you know, Dick Grayson was Robin at first. And then as he grew older, he became Nightwing. But, you know, when you're buying a, a comic, you know, we, we want to see what we pay for. That's just my ordeal. Next up, the moment we've all been waiting for for about five months now. Boom! Spider-Man. 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 Does whatever Spider-Man does. Anyways, uh, for those who are thinking I've never read the, the Spider-Man story arc to begin with, Do, Re, Fo, So, La. Anyways, uh, yeah, there you go, all five issues. So let's get started with this review. Okay, the quick synopsis for this. Peter Parker goes into the uh, Ultimate uh, Universe, and uh, apparently... Mysterio from the 616 mainstream universe is actually the same Mysterio from the Ultimate Universe. So it's Brian Michael Bendis kind of mind freaks us right there. Um, I, that's why I love I love Michael B Brian Michael Bendis because you know he, you know the dialogue is just so fresh and it's so authentic. You know it's not like straight up you know corny generic comic book you know language dialogue or whatever. However, there were some da downfalls about this book. Uh, 
I felt like they focused too much on Peter, you know, knowing that, you know, his ultimate uh, alter ego died in the ultimate universe. You know, I felt like they focused too much on Peter and not enough of Miles. You know, if it's supposed to be a Spider-Man book and where both of them are supposed to be the stars, it focused too much on the, the original Spider-Man more than it did Ultimate Spider-Man, you know. So it it, it kind of it kind of bothered me a little bit. But the book played out very well, you know, uh, it winded up, like, near the third arc, uh, third act, uh, you know, they started coming together, you know, Miles and uh, Peter. But I felt like on the beginning it focused too much on Peter, you know, knowing about the death of his ultimate uh, ego and Miles just being, you know, in the background, just being a supporting character, you know? Like, if they're both supposed to be the stars, why have one of them sit in the back burner and the other one sit in the front? That's just me. However, now that if you haven't read uh, the Ultimate um, uh, Comics Spider-Man uh, recently, you know, Ultimate 13, you know, you'll know that uh, his uncle Aaron died. And so now they have similarities. Miles and Peter, you know, both of them have dead uncles. So, hey, a win-win. Both of them have web shooters now. If you haven't read issue 15, go pick that up. If y'all haven't, check out this, uh, there's this director. His name is Wesley Westgood. He went to my school, Full Sail University. I don't know him per se, but he's... A, He's a good dude, no pun intended. Uh, y'all check out uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man uh, comics uh, video called Who is Spider-Man? The link's gonna be at the bottom. It's a real good video, you know. It kind of just uh, it summarizes what happens in the first issue of the new run of uh, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Okay, so that wraps up my blog uh, about the uh, Nightwing, Amazing Spider-Man 700, and uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man uh, story arcs. So, uh, if, are there any other comics that you, you guys think I should check out? Or, how do y'all feel about Spider-Man if you have read it? How do you feel about Nightwing? Make sure y'all uh, comment, subscribe, uh, post a video response, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, stay in contact with me. Other than that, y'all, deuces.